I mean, it's not ours, yeah. when he was scored um, first two goals, he sort of thinking, oh, come on, yeah, let's go on and score some yeah, more. And, uh, and he came back and scored and equalised twice. So at half time, you're thinking, well, you know, it's, uh, we have to make some changes, which we did. One or two little knocks and niggles. But the young boys came on in the second half and I thought we were excellent. It was great. It was a great workout for us. Um, remember, th these boys haven't played together at all, so it was nice to get together first game under the belts and first 45 minutes for a lot of them. But yeah, I thought the work rate was good, the fitness looked good, just the touch on here, a little bit sticky and things like this. But no, in the end, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's great to see them play and it's great to get a game. The last thing you want in a pre-season game is to pick up any kind of injury, yeah. so was that the main motivation in moving the game? Yeah, it was. it was. It was a hard pitch with the lack of rain that we've had and uh, you know we, we didn't want to risk anybody on there and I think um, Andy been great, they came here and we'll certainly go down to Andy uh, during the season and uh, uh, give them a, a game as well, so hopefully they'll get a, a decent crowd along for that. And, um, they missed out on a payday today, so hopefully we can give them that in the future. But um, yeah, it's great that they came along, gave us a real good test too. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's a lovely pitch to play on, and we're, we're delighted yeah, to be able to use that. Yeah, to very nice. Yeah, it was a good chance, obviously, for the fans to get a glimpse of some of the some of the new players. And it seems like well, that's very early days. It seems like you the system you're working on is quite fluid. Not it's a four four two, but certainly not a rigid four four two. Yeah, I mean, we've we've only had a few days really of, uh, of actual uh, shape and tactics and all that sort of thing, so um, it's not been an ideal preparation. But I'm not. The, I saw the fans' website, and I'm, 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 I must be Mr. Excuse Man. I, I, every time I say something, and someone says it's an excuse for this, an excuse for that. But you know, the simple fact is, it takes a bit of time, um, and certainly the boys have got a great appetite to work. They want to work hard. They want to make it a fluid system, um, and it's just a case of well, you know, getting everybody. Uh, together and, and, and doing the right things, but yeah, it's very encouraging. Scoring goals, made some good chances, to scored more goals. Disappointment to, to concede goals, but yeah, there's plenty of things to work on. Three trialists today: uh, one from local university, one who yeah. I believe is Welsh, former Welsh schoolboy, one from a little further afield. Yeah, uh, yeah. What can you what can you tell us about them and, and how are those kind of prospects looking? Well, at they, the moment? they've done very well. They've they've worked exceptionally hard. They're probably the hardest they've ever worked in the pre-season, but. Um, you know, they've certainly uh, done very well. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say, see how much funds we've got left and see what we do. Um, we've certainly got positions where um, these players can fill. But um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. We've got Port Talbot on Saturday, so that gives us another run out for them. And then we'll make a decision and, and see from there. But um, I'm pleased with the players. I'm also pleased to say that we can, you know, we are making progress for another striker as well. But I thought Aaron Collins, when he came on, did very well. Yeah, so did. yes, I mean, phew. You know, and, and it's nice to see not so much the, the players that it was great for me to see the players that um, we've brought in, but also the players like uh, Owen Evans uh, and Aaron Collins as well, uh, and Parcel. You know, do do very well with the first team, and to show to me that they that they're in the first team squad on merit. Is there any issues with Nathan Yeah, he just got a slight Achilles today, and. Um, we didn't want to risk him, uh, you know, it's early pre-season, it's not about playing now, it's about playing and um, being available for the 8th of August, so, um, you know, the, we've got, obviously we've got uh, Kevin Feely out and Regan Poole uh, and Andrew Hughes, uh, who's been more long term, so we've got a few knocks and niggles, but yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with their attitude and they're very pleased with their work rate tonight. Good man, thank you very much, much Terry, much welcome right? to uh, Newport, how's it, how's it been so far? Um, thank you, um, it's been good, obviously, um, it's a different to what I was used to. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I working with the manager and the team. I think we've got a very good players here. So I'm expecting a very good Facilities better where you're used to, with sort of due respect. You've, you've said it in the polite way, but I guess moving around and stuff is, is what you're alluding to, training at schools and stuff. Yeah, you know, um, obviously. To me, it, it doesn't really bother me um, where we train, as long as we're on the training pitch and enjoying ourselves and working hard. That's the most important thing. Um, obviously, it's, it's been good to be fair where we're training facilities. Obviously, we play a game here today, which is um, Macklin. To me, that's what it's all about. So, we're, our job is to play football, and that's what we're here for. Is it nice to come in as one or two players from the same club? Because obviously, it's such a big turnaround in this dressing room, so many new faces. Yeah, it's good when you're coming to a new club and you already know somebody. Um, it helps you settle very quickly. Um, to be fair, I knew um, Reese Taylor from my days at Chelsea with him and uh, Media Lito already. Uh, we played the game together, so it's kind of um, good seeing them here and uh, it's settled me straight away. Do you talk about 
talk to Sam Foley at all about Newport? Uh, I haven't really spoken to him to be fair, but um, he did um, um, tweet me to uh, wish me uh, good luck. He said it's a good club. So he spoke uh, very, great, very good things about the club, yeah. so I'm looking forward to work with the new manager and everyone. <laughs> good, great time. <laughs> and obviously, as a de defensive player, you know, you link it up with the former England. Uh, England World Cup captain, uh, assistant manager, also See? an England international. So yeah. I mean, you should be plenty. You can, you can learn from the pair of them. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, he's experienced uh, in our position. We can only learn from him. He has to say it because he's been there and done that and worn with the t shirt. So, you know, um, for a defender, it, it's brilliant for me. Obviously, final question for me because we're both cold. You've come from uh, the bottom end of League One, you yeah. wouldn't have wanted to be there. You're joining a club that weren't near the top of League Two last year. I guess the aim is to be a lot closer to the promotion than the relegation this year. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, obviously, last year wasn't great to, um, in terms of um, how the season went for, for me. Um, this is a different opportunity, a different, uh, um, and I do hope that this time it will be a, a better uh, uh, for us where we can challenge for promotion. Top man, thank you very much.